Yep, so welcome guys to the Drive Through Podcast. Um, as you probably tell by the, uh, the name of the title, Manchester United have tonight won the Europa League. They've uh, won 2 0 in Stockholm. Um, and it weren't one of the best games I've ever seen. But, you know, they've got the job done, played very efficiently, defended well. It was a very professional job. Um, I actually just struggled to get into the game really. I never really posed much of an attacking threat until sort of the last 10 and then I really did get close to the, to the United goal anyway. So, like I say, it was a real struggle for them. But um, yeah, they, they've won 2 at the end of the night. It was f- first half goal uh, by, by uh, Pogba, deflected off, I believe it was Sanchez, the uh, Ajax centre back. Early on, which is what United really, really needed early on, um, just to get the nose in front. That way they went on the uh, on the back, 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 uh, the back foot all night. But yeah, sort of went on from there. It was a poor first half, but you know United got into the game quicker than I actually, and they got the opening goal. Half time, one nil, um, and United have struggled all season uh, with seeing games out. So straight after the second, uh, well, straight after the half time, start of the second half, um, they've got the second goal, which was vital. It sort of killed the game. Um, Mikita ran it, it cross in, um, and Mikita ran sort of. It, got, it was a good finish. He sort of turned his body around and flicked it sort of over his head. Um, but yeah, that's put them two 0 up, and that that was really it. They never came close to. To getting a goal back, like I say, um, Romero in goal was fantastic. Um, it, I mean, he didn't have much to do, but it's been great throughout the uh, Europa League campaign altogether, really. I'd say he did have a great deal to do, but what he did do, he did it well. And uh, yeah, 2 0 on the night. And they've said, so, well, they've, after what's happened um, in Manchester over the last few days. I think everyone just came together, even City fans most probably wanted them win tonight. It was a win for the City of Manchester, a win for the people of Manchester. Um, so yeah, I was, I'm, not, I'm just so I can introduce myself. I'm not a Manchester United fan, um, I'm a Leicester City fan, so there's no bias from me. But you know, it was nice, it was nice after what's happened, just to, to see a bit of joy on the face of the Manchester United fans. Um, I mean, he, Rooney who lifted the uh, Europa League. It was uh, possibly his last game. Um, he got, he, I think he came on about the 8th, 7th minute. So that was nice. If it was his last game to uh, be lifting a title. So that was nice to see. Um, but yeah, at, at, at the end of the day, like I said, it was a professional job by uh, Ajax. Uh, Manchester United. <laughs> by Ajax. Um, and... Uh, that's what big teams do when it comes to, and that's what Jose Mourinho does. He's not had the best season. I mean, you say he's had the best season, but he's he's got Champions League football, and he's if you include the Community Shield, he's won three 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 cup three trophies. Um, so it's, it's, I mean, he'd, he'd like to do better next season, I imagine, but it, it's not it's not too bad. Um, at least, at least he's gone straight to the group stage and like uh, Liverpool who've got a qualifier which nobody wants to do um, but yeah that that's one of the main things I imagine they were targeting to Champions League football I mean, with the money they spent some people was expecting a title challenge for me it was never realistically going to happen but, but like I say Champions League football is the main the main goal in my eyes for that club so and that's what they've got so fair play to them and um, fair play to Jose Mourinho he's took a lock and stick over the last few days and last few weeks um, but yeah for sort of stick for not showing passion um, it takes a lot of stick for his press conference style but tonight, after after they did lift the uh, did lift the uh, Europa League, he came out and he showed a lot of passion, celebrating in front of the Man United end. And um, I think he just showed exactly what it means to him, especially when he was celebrating with his his son. Um, 
Uh, I don't think you can deny, deny the passion he's got, the passion he's got for the city. And uh, I'll say, fair play to him. He's, he's, he, he, he might have expected to get more. He might have expected a higher league position. But like I say, at the end of the day, he's, he's done a half decent job there. So, and I'm sure he's going to build on it next season. Um, but yeah, looking at the Ajax team, um, they've been they have been they have been impressive throughout the rest of the their Europa League campaign. But tonight, like I say. Had a crash there, some stupid twat. But yeah, a lot, lot of the same. Um, they've been fantastic, fantastic throughout the campaign. Tonight they never really got going. They're just a bit too slow in my eyes to get the ball going forward quick enough. Uh, but defensively, I mean, I'm not even going to try and pronounce uh, the name of the uh, their centre back, but he, he did a fantastic. Fantastic job tonight. Um, I know he was only up against Rashford on his own, but again, for Lane, he was there uh, competing with him. I mean, he's only 17. And I've heard there's rumours of some big Premier League clubs and even Barcelona after his services. Um, so again, he might not be there next season, but he, he, he did look look really good. Um, and also, Sanchez, a Colombian that was playing in the centre back next to him, looked very strong. I know they conceded two goals, but all night they, they, they did look really strong. So. Um, hats off to them. They uh, they, they stuck it out, um, but again, it was it was more going forward. Their struggles were. Um, so, but yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say they weren't good enough because you know I mean it average average age of about twenty two in the team so. They're only going to get better as long as they can keep the uh, keep the players together, keep the team together. But like I said, with interest from Europe, the leagues, it's going to be difficult, um, very difficult indeed. But hopefully, if they can keep, because they, they, like I said, they have had a good campaign, but if they can keep the players together. That's, that'd be uh, that'd be decent. You know, I mean, they can build on that. I, I'm not sure whether they finished in the. Uh, the Dutch leg, I don't know if they've got Champions League football, but again, if they have, then they can keep the team together. I'm sure they can have a good bash. Um, but yeah, that's really all I've got to say on that. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to try and do a few more of these sort of podcasts over the summer, uh, look at a few teams, see where teams need to strengthen and whatnot. Um, something I'm looking to get into, really. Um, but yeah. Well done to Manchester United. Well done to the city of Manchester. Um, and that's that. Good night, guys.